Hey, Keith here from Injector Rehab. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be going over how to convert a O-ring style um, fuel injector into being a hose end injector, where you put the hose on the end on a lot of older vehicles like uh, Datsuns and Mercedes, Jaguars, Porsches, uh, Volkswagens. There's a lot of applications that had these hose end injectors that are now, you know, 40 plus years old. Um, we get them all the time from people sending them in and you know say the injector's been sitting for 22 years in their barn or whatever they, they can't get the injector to work again they send it to us and it's just long gone I mean it's rusted inside and out and there's just not much you can do um, the good thing about it is you can take uh, a newer o-ring style injector and convert it into being a hose end injector. Um, the injector itself works exactly the same as the older hose end injectors. It just connects into the fuel system in a different manner. So um, not every injector that's top feed um, O-ring style will actually work with this modification, but we do have um, pre-cleaned, flow tested, ready to go uh, fuel injectors where you're able to do this at home. And what we're going to be going over in the video is kind of showing you with tools that you have at home how you can how you can do this it's one of the things that we don't want to waste the time doing it we're too busy with other things to do but we're just going to show you how it's able to be done and again with tools that you should already have at home and if you don't have you can also use something else it's not we're not doing rocket science here we're, we're converting a an injector to be able to connect it into a system another way uh, so we're going to go over some of these things here in the uh, next few minutes Okay, so this is what we're looking at here. This is a standard hose end injector made by Bosch that has the barbed fitting at the top, which is underneath of the actual hose when you take it out. You have to remove that hose to expose all this. There's a filter that goes inside the top of there. These older ones have an actual pintle. Uh, these here are basically a replacement, like a, it's a, you know, modern, modernized injector made the same way. This is usually like standard. Uh, they have a pintle still. Uh, this is what will be available today with new molding, new, uh, you know, barb on the top of it. After they did away with uh, hose end injectors and went to like common rail, all injectors had a, an O-ring that sealed it inside of the uh, fuel rail. Um, they would have an O-ring at the bottom that would seal as well. Uh, underneath of this here, it's the exact same as the old style injectors and their pintle caps that would go on an older one would fit on an injector like this. So this is the same injector with the bottom portion removed and this pintle cap put on in place of it. Um, the upper portion here with the o-ring it still has the plastic molding to the body on it but underneath of this molding here if you remove it is basically the same thing as the barb fitting so with some simple tools like a dremel you can just simply cut a cut a line across here make a little marking around there to loosen that up cut down the side over here and now you just broke this top piece off with the uh, pliers and you're going to expose what's underneath of it. Same measurements as what the barbs would be, just a little bit different. You can still fit a hose right on top of it, and now you have a modern injector being able to be used as a, as a hose end injector. Now, in this case, I'm saying modern, but these injectors here are still from the 80s and 90s. Um, so it isn't the newest technology that's out there, but there's still a heck of an improvement over the old pintle style uh, we have another video that's uh you know that shows you see this pintle there i don't know if you can see that in that video but that little piece that sticks out is what would diffuse the fuel on newer style you have there's little holes that are inside here and that plate over there is what regulates the uh, amount of fuel that comes out as well as atomizes it so i'm going to show you how to just quickly do that little modification of cutting this plastic top piece off to expose this piece here.
in addition if you feel that that might be a little bit tight for you you can always take this and if you have a, a small lathe you can throw it on there we'll put it on a lathe here for you to show you So the one thing with the older style injectors versus the newer style EV1 injectors is they're a little bit shorter. Um, so when you're trying to get it to seal and you're using a different pintle cap here, it's not going to be the same, the same height. So when you're pushing a seal onto the tip of the injector, like so, that's going to be about the same height as it used to be when it was a hose end injector there. You can see the distance on on this in, this injector here. And now when we're using with the rubber on there, if we didn't have that rubber on there, it's going to be a little bit short. So the trick is simply using two of these little grommets so that the second grommet is the one that's actually making the seal where it used to make the seal on your original hose end injector. So the next thing you can do to make it look all purdy, you can um, paint the injector to make it look like it's a little nicer than it, you know, than it is here. These usually when you're getting them out of a junkyard, they're black paint on them that's maybe chipping off. They might be rusted on the surface a little bit, but you can make it look pretty and almost new by just giving it a coat of paint. Give them a nice bright color. We like to do them in green sometimes too, which is our logo color. But that's all there is to it. You can run it bare too if you just wanted to put the hose right on top, clamp it on. Put the lower caps on there it would work exactly the same so when you're going to paint the injectors you can always just use a piece of a fuel line an old fuel line to you know put over top of the injector here you can cover it with tape if you want to tape the bottom and that top piece and spray them uh, depending on the color that you pick the inside of the electrical clip is going to be noticeable because you should be blocking this off as well. Um, what we typically do is we'll use another clip that was um, cut down and kind of just put that in place so that when it sprays it's not getting on the electrical contacts and and causing you an issue. But this here will stop it from going in there but it's going to leave the inside of that still the same yellow color. So picking a color similar to that yellow helps you kind of not notice it as as much but you can notice it as you look in there it's definitely still there but if you wanted to do purple pink whatever heck color you wanted to do you can do it just make sure that you're taping off the outside here to not get anything inside where the uh, filter goes and you definitely don't want to mess up the inside of here too where the uh, fuel sprays out of but just taping those off painting the rest of it and also blocking that electrical clip off. So hopefully that shows you how simple converting a o-ring style injector is into being a hose end injector so you're able to use it in your applications. Uh, in the comment section down below uh, we will have links to kind of like a do-it-yourself kit so you can just buy a 19 pound injector from us uh, all the components that you'll need for it and you'll be able to do this at home yourself um, if you don't feel comfortable still doing it after this video uh, we will still offer it for you but it's an easy way to save a few bucks uh, doing it yourself at home um, not having to go find a junkyard that has the right injectors for you um, we're not listing the actual part number of the one that we're using here but it is pretty common in injector that you could find in just about any junkyard in uh, 
United States, Canada, anywhere else around the world. Um, it's pretty common, common size. But uh, yeah, uh, just make sure you subscribe, hit the notification buttons down below, and we'll see you next time for some other information for you guys. Thanks.